Research is one of the top priorities of the sorghum checkoff. In order to maximize yield potential for farmers, the sorghum checkoff is working with the USDA Agricultural Research Service to bring desirable traits to farmers' fields. The ARS facility in Lubbock, Texas, has a dedicated staff focused on sorghum. Working closely with industry partners and growers, ARS Lab Director John Burke and his staff experiment with traits like drought and cold tolerance, hoping to make this water-sipping crop a more desirable option for U.S. farmers. Sorghum has been a very important part of this laboratory's research in the last seven years. The work that we're doing in sorghum relates to uh, the water and temperature stress. We have irrigation scheduling systems that we've developed and we're looking at the effect of uh, how to manage your irrigation on sorghum, whether the sorghum comes from a background that is pre-flowering drought tolerant or post-flowering drought tolerant. Along with water management studies, ARS is also conducting research that could help farmers get their sorghum into the ground sooner, avoiding some of the high temperatures that affect water usage. ARS sorghum researcher Gloria Burrow dedicates her time to studying sorghum's unique cold tolerance traits. What we mean by cold tolerance in our earlier project is to be able to uh, get the plants uh, planted earlier than the uh, regular planting season. We would like the farmers to be able to utilize the moisture during our uh, spring and at the same time be able to plant early, possibly for double cropping, and at the same time uh, be able to uh, utilize some new varieties that have higher yield potential because they can be grown longer. Higher yield potential is one benefit the erect leaf sorghum being developed by ARS could give producers. This unique mutation already found in some corn hybrids features leaves that grow vertically, which gives growers the ability to plant more sorghum per acre. Erect leaf sorghum also allows the plant to absorb more early morning and late evening sunlight for photosynthesis, and less of the mid-afternoon heat that would require significantly more water to cool the plant down. From research plots to farmers' fields, the sorghum checkoff and USDA ARS are working to increase yield and maximize sorghum's already profitable characteristics. Justin Weinheimer, Crop Improvement Director for the Sorghum Checkoff, says the partnership with ARS is yielding valuable results. The ability for ARS to cooperatively work with industry uh, and local farmers as well uh, in coordination with USPCP to do uh, drought tolerance, heat tolerance, uh, as well as standard hybrid development is very important for the industry uh, as well as the region. For our farmers and our industry, the results coming out of here uh, could very likely wind up in a bag.